Hello everyone, this is Nikki and welcome back to another episode of Bollywood Buzz where we update you with the latest and the most talked about gossip happening in Bollywood. From Bhaijan to Mamujan, Salman Khan is now a Mamu. His little sister Arpita Khan Sharma and Ayush Sharma have been blessed with a beautiful baby boy named Ahil. Proud father Ayush tweeted a wonderful message along with the new picture of Ahil. We're sure that the Khan family as well as the Sharma family are very happy with the new addition to their families. Salman Khan's sister Arpita Khan has delivered a baby boy a while ago at Hinduja Healthcare Hospital. Salman's brother-in-law Ayush Sharma posted this good news about his fatherhood recently. The entire Khan family is very happy. The mother and baby are fine and they have named the little one Ahil. In a recent picture, you will see how the Mamujan Salman Khan is kissing his little nephew's forehead and blessing him abundantly. And nothing more than this could have brought a smile on Sister Arpita Khan Sharma's face. The bond beautiful between the beautiful mommy and her brother Salman is known worldwide. Salman Khan's fondness for children is known to everyone. We are sure Ahil will be pampered like crazy in the family. Salman and his family members might surely be prepping for the grand welcome of Ayush, Arpita and Ahil. In another candid picture shared on Twitter, we see the Nanaji, Salim Khan and Naniji, Helen and Salman Khan along with the young father Ayush Sharma awing about the cuteness of their grandson Ahil. So will the little Ahil continue the legacy of his Mamujan Salman Khan? We never know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But again, all the good wishes and a lot of happiness to the Khan and the Sharma family. After the end of their brief affair, Kangana Ranawat and Hrithik Roshan had a big legal battle where he sued her for a case of defamation. However, now looks like Hrithik Roshan is trying to patch things up by settling everything out of court. This battle started when Kangana was quizzed about being thrown out of Hrithik starer Ashiki 3. The bold and bindas actress has referred to HR as Silly X. Matters wouldn't have gone out of hand, but Hrithik's statement on Twitter only confirmed news of their secret affair. A source revealed Hrithik now seems to want to settle the matters out of court. He has been sending feelers to Kangana. However, we are yet to find out if Miss Ranawat, who refused to comment on the matter at an earlier event, is now willing to withdraw her charges against Hrithik. Remember in Kangana's notice, her lawyers had warned the actor, withdraw your notice within seven days of receipt of the reply. Mumbai Mirror had reported contents of Hrithik and Kangana's legal notices. In this news article, it was said that Hrithik's legal term had alleged that the actress had sent their client 1,439 emails, which were senseless, personal, and absurd. HR's notice also claimed that Kangana suffered from Asperger syndrome, for which the actor has faced flack. The Mohenjo Daro hero, however, rubbished the reports in his statement to the media ahead of leaving for a vacation in Dubai with his children. Hrithik had demanded a public apology from Kangana for calling him Silly X, to which Kangana's lawyers had shot back at the actor with a notice that alleged intimidation and threat. If Kangana won this legal war, then Hrithik Roshan could even land up in a jail for 10 years. With our source revealing that Hrithik now wants an agreement, we'll have to wait and watch if the two will amicably settle this out of court or will the war get more murkier in the coming days. So will these bitter exes settle out of court? Will Hrithik Roshan end up in jail? Breakups seem to be very common in Bollywood these days. There's yet another breakup that happened recently. The six-year-long relationship with Susan Singh Rajput and Ankita Lokhande has just happened. They were engaged after he proposed to her at Jalik Diklaja 4. However, they never got married. They were supposed to get married this December, but unfortunately, they have split up due to a lot of fights. Bollywood couple Sushant Singh Rajput and Ankita Lokande have called it quits after six years long relationship. After stories came out, Sushant tweeted, If you can't understand my silence, you will never understand my words. He followed it by another tweet saying, Mirage after mirage, the incessant futile pursuit of happiness. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Both of these tweets suggested that a breakup was true. But his latest statement to the leading daily confirms everything. A source close to the actor further added to the daily, 
as long as the two were on the same page professionally, it was fine. Sushant has had a successful run with films and Ankita's career in Bollywood is yet to take off. This created friction between the two somewhere and along the way their ideologies didn't match. They still have a lot of love and respect for each other, but their relationship is not working. Their December wedding has obviously been put on hold. Both of them are extremely disturbed with the way things have turned out for them. They're still trying to sort out their differences, but it seems highly unlikely that they may make amends. Sushant has completely shut off and has immersed himself into work. He has been spending a lot of time with his friends to keep him distracted. Ankita has been reaching out to the actor and they've been talking, but their issues are not sorted. So will these two finally work things out and be together again? Or will this be another tragic love story in Bollywood? Ronit Rowe, who is also known as the Amitabh Bachchan of television, is now headed to Hollywood. This is his second attempt in Hollywood and he'll be starring in a movie called The Field. Ronit Roy is all set to star in his second Hollywood venture, The Field. The Field has an international cast of Indian, British and American actors, including Neeraj Kabi and Radhika Apte. Roy announced that he will essay the role of the elder brother in a family of criminals, which will hit the floor this April. Speaking about the film, Roy explains that the story is a period drama about a mafia family. I began shooting in April. It is a period film portraying Old Delhi, but it is a very international flavor. Roy told Times of India, I accepted the role because it's a very interesting character that is a part of a great story. Rohit, the director, has been living with the script for quite a few years. His conviction in the script has also helped me make a decision to do it. This wouldn't be Roy's first international project. He was previously in Deepa Mehta's Midnight's Children. He was also offered a role in the television show Homeland and the film Zero Dark Thirty. Unfortunately, he was unable to take on the projects due to date clashes. There's also rumors that Roy will be returning to television to bring to life the witty Sherlock Holmes-esque lawyer K.D. Patak in another season of Adalat on Sony TV. Roy did confirm the rumors that they are attempting to bring back the show a few months ago with a tweet. The multi-talented actor was last seen in films like Guddu Rangila, Two States and Student of the Year. Ronit Roy also recently won an award at Film Fair for his great acting in the negative role at Guddu Rangila and we wish him all the very best in his Hollywood adventure. There might be a new wedding coming up in Bollywood between Bipasha Basu and Karan Singh Grover. Bipasha Basu and Karan Singh Grover are in news a lot lately. Grapevine is abuzz with a lot of speculation that these two are in fact going very strong and may announce their marriage soon. Amidst all this, these two were clicked coming out of a spa last night. On a closer look at Bipasha's finger, an engagement ring was spotted, which heightened the speculation. While the news is making round, Bipasha is in no rush to announce her wedding anytime soon. While we were mulling over the possibility of these two lovebirds being engaged already, Bipasha took to Twitter and gave a rather snarky reply to her marriage speculation. She wrote, Wait for me to announce my wedding when I want to, and if I want to. Please stop treating it frivolously. For years I have dealt with this constant discussion. Please be patient. After all, it is my life. Thank you all. She further explained why she did not want to be clicked and was hesitant when she spotted paparazzi. She rather angrily wrote, and yes, I don't like getting clicked at 10 p.m. post a massage. Oily and dirty, I'm sure all women will understand that. It's not rocket science. Well now, Bipasha sure seems miffed with the press. But why is Bipasha guarding her relationship so fiercely with Karan Singh Grover is the question. Also, there's no smoke without fire. Reportedly, Karan's mom, Deepa Singh, isn't excited about this relationship at all because she's not happy with Bip's former relationships with Dino Morea, John Abraham, and Herman Baweja. If there's one thing Salman Khan is good at besides acting, that's looking good and having those six-packs. 
He shared another picture on Twitter of him being shirtless with his six pack for his new movie Sultan and we're sure you're gonna love it and be stunned. We must say, Salman Khan is looking super sexy. The shirtless picture of him has gone viral and the female fans are going crazy and they might not be able to stop staring at his snap. Even the guys might be envying seeing Salman Khan's super toned body. Salman Khan is seen sporting a white colored dhoti. Much before the look of Salman in the upcoming film was released, it was said that the actor is working hard to get the perfect wrestler look, also the physique. With this picture, it is clear that Salman's hard work has paid off. There were times when the director of the film, Ali Abbas Zafar, used to share Salman's workout videos. Salman, who had not taken off his shirt in any of the scenes in his last film, Prem Ratan Dhanpayo, had promised his fans that his next film, Sultan, will more than compensate for this. And we're sure that the fans of the Bhaijan are eagerly waiting for the release of the film, which will hit the screens during Eid this year. So I'm sure all the female fans and the male fans of Salman Khan are eagerly waiting for this Eid just for the movie Sultan. With awards comes controversies. Kangana Ranawat recently won an award for the best actress for her role in Tanuet's Manu Returns at the National Awards. However, the director Sanjay Leela Bhansali, along with the Deepika Padukone fans, are quite unhappy about this award because they feel like Deepika is the one that deserves the award. Kangana Ranawat just won the National Award for Best Actress. However, Sanjay Leela Bhansali does not seem to agree on the jury's decision. I would have loved Deepika or Priyanka to have won it because Deepika ka performance is very splendid, very special. Priyanka ka performance is very special. Hai. But if the jury thought that it was Kangana, then Kangana has also done a lot of work. So there was no doubt that any right person has not got it or a wrong person has not got it. But I am very happy for Kangana. But I would have from deep down wished that maybe Deepika or Priyanka would have won it for, uh, for Bajra. Juhi Chaturvedi, the writer of Piku, says, I loved Kangana in Tanuwed's Manu Returns, but Deepika was simply wonderful as Piku. As Mastani too, she's wonderful. Deepika's range is staggering. One can see the width and depth she possesses as an actor. Critics Raj Sen says, Deepika's performance in Piku was highly nuanced and accomplished. She created a character we could believe in, find fault with, and root for. Kangana in her double role in Tanuwit's Manu Returns was truly impressive as Dattu, but as Tanu, her work was barely average. However, trade analyst Atul Mohan thinks Kangana is deserving of the national award. To be honest, Kangana was more deserving for the stellar performance she gave. It's not that Deepika's performance was bad, but the aura of stardom that Deepika carries these days proved overpowering. Kangana seemed a more down-to-earth choice. We have yet to hear anything from Deepika as of yet. However, we're sure that she's very happy for Kangana. And that wraps up this episode of Bollywood Buzz. For more updates, make sure you follow us on all of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also we upload all the videos on YouTube, so make sure you go and check those out. This is Nikki, and we'll see you next time on another episode of Bollywood Buzz.